So along with their new, some of their new hardware today, they did announce um, kind of between, between the lines um, a new keyboard, a new Magic Mouse, and a new trackpad. Um, I'm actually in probably in the market for a new keyboard soon, so I'm interested in taking a look at this one. It actually has a very interesting wedge design versus kind of the bubble in the back. Um, the new Magic Mouse is um, a little is has been updated, um, and then the trackpad adds force touch. Um, obviously, this does add cost um, to the device to to the touchpad. Um, up from sixty nine dollars, it's now one twenty nine. The mouse costs seventy nine, and the keyboard costs ninety nine. Um, I'm not as interested in the mouse because I already have a mouse, a Magic Mouse, and I'm pretty happy with it. The other thing that I actually um, modified or, or got some extra equipment along with my mouse and my mouse is already rechargeable and my mouse actually recharges by putting it down on a, a pad. Um, so the bottom of my mouse has a replacement, um, battery compartment. Yeah. And I just put it down on that pad. But the big deal to me is after using force touch more and more and more, um, or 3d touch, Force touch what I, on the on the iPhone and on my watch. Um, the new trackpad adds the same capability, um, so that's big for me. I, I'm looking forward to testing that out. Obviously, in an Apple store, seeing how that works, see, make sure it feels the same, and then quickly um, going out and grabbing one of those. The other interesting thing that they did with all of their devices, um, which if you're familiar with those devices today, um, all those devices take. Uh, double A batteries. So there's a there's on the bottom of the mouse. There's a spot for two batteries on the bottom of the keyboard or in the back of the keyboard, depending on how early you got your device and model. Um, I think there's three three to four batteries in the keyboard, and the trackpad has two. Um, all devices are now rechargeable with built-in batteries that are that don't seem, from what I'm seeing in the specs, replaceable. Um, but interestingly enough, the port that they chose to put on them for recharging is actually a lightning port. So Ooh. if you have your phone cord, um, you can actually recharge your keyboard, trackpad, or mouse, which is actually an, I'm, I'm interested to see how this all fits together because I actually have a, a dock for my phone, which if the mouse fits nicely on the dock in an upright position. Um, which, here, let me see if I can pull this out. If you see my phone, it sits on a, a pedestal stand. So if I can, if I can get my mouse on there, I would actually contemplate getting the mouse just to have it look cool. But if not, I'm probably just going to go with the um, the the keyboard and potentially trackpad. Trackpad first, followed up by the keyboard. I like this. I so I you know I'm always iffy when it comes to wireless. I, I have a, the wireless mouse uh, at, at my one uh, employer employer client. I guess uh, it feels like because I go in like regularly one day a week, and it's like it's my only like day jobby thing that I do. Uh, and uh, and we've had the wireless keyboard, and I've actually had problems with it. I actually, fell out of sync. I've never been able to get it back. Um, so that's been interesting. Uh, but but I like this idea, and especially the trackpad. I've wanted a trackpad for my Mac Mini upstairs for whenever I need to do to work on it for a while. Um, and and now I'm glad I waited that it's going to have the force features. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm actually, I may migrate some of my hardware to work just so I don't have to carry anything back and forth. Um, my older equipment going to work and my newer equipment being at home. We'll see how that works out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm... I, like I said, I'm I'm looking forward, especially at home. I work with the MacBook Pro lid shut, um, so having that force touch um, is definitely going to come in handy. Is and it? I, I'm learning more and more to use it. Is it a good idea? Side note: Is it a good idea to have that lid slut? Yes, yeah, slut shut. Um, because I mean, doesn't that kind of add heat to the screen? Is that a, is that an issue? Or I haven't seen an issue in the way they have the back end that black bar area mm -hmm. cut now it kind of lets air out the back okay um I, I will say to your point um if i'm rendering video or something like that it, it's actually it's, it's actually very odd i'm probably not your typical use case 
time at my desk when I'm working for work, which is low process or low memory intensive. I'm up here for the show, which is typically low process or um, low memory intensive. When I'm actually working on video, I'm usually on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so like right now I'm plugged into this huge monitor, right? If I, if I were to edit video and, and hit render or, or save or whatever to, to actually render the video, I would grab the laptop and take it with me and open it up. But it's, it's not based on the fact, to your point, am I worried about heat? It's just based on how I work. Okay. okay. But, I, but I would guess that the – so for the number of people and companies and advertising that Apple does with the book ARC – which, you know, 12 South, they make the high rise the dock that I was just showing. They make all kinds of equipment. high rise makes the Arc, which is a, a device to set your MacBook closed in, whether it be an Air or Pro or whatever. Um, it's meant to be closed in that position, so I'm guessing it would be okay. Um, I rarely, when doing day-to-day -day normal everyday operations, I rarely hear the fan come on on the pro on my mini on most things. Now, like I said, when I'm doing video or doing MPEG encoding, anything like that, yes, it does heat up and the fans do come on. But outside of that, it, it seems like they're doing a very good job with heat dispersion as it is. Awesome. Awesome. So, and you got uh, another, another thing linked here, uh, the secret force click shortcuts. Yes. So that was one of the things that, yeah. So in talking about, and let me open up that link myself. Um, in talking about, obviously, the, the now the, now all of the devices that don't have Force Touch today are now you're, you're now going to have that option to get them, whether it's an older MacBook laptop or Air or um, Mini or whatever device you're on, right? Um, you're going to have that force touch capability. So uh, a lot of those capabilities, you can preview a file, you can rename a file. Um, I use the look up a word or preview a website a lot um, when I'm using the browser. So you can, you can look up words, you can preview websites. Um, you can see additional message details. You can see re reminder details, event details. You can add events, you can preview addresses. You can, in maps, you can drop a location pin track packages you can use it to annotate an image or pdf um so and then there are some additional ones out on imore where they show you some some additional siri commands safari shortcuts additional mail keyboard power saving and some secret apple tv controls so i'm really enjoying the the, the force touch on my phone and i find myself now even more than ever trying to force touch on everything on the laptop. So I don't see this going away anytime soon. And I feel like they just gave longevity to a slew of older devices. Certainly you can kind of uh, uh, retrofit a lot of stuff. I can put a lot of, so I'm considering throwing uh, the latest Mac OS on this uh, iMac from 2007, <laughs> but I can really kind of get all those features in there, right? At this point, cause it's right. still up, it uploads that. I think it's still, um, um, what is it? Not a Yosemite, but it's still a cat. And I think it's one of the later cats here, uh, 10.8, which actually would have been the last cat when I think about it. Um, so I just wanted those features. Like I'm thinking of re re reworking things. So like I don't need to bring my laptop down here to do our iPhone show off stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I'm like, wait, this thing will do it. And I'm not so afraid of maybe losing features or something concerning how, what, how rudimentary of stuff we, we, we use on it. Like, you know, stuff like, like, like the video stream for you over here or something like that. But, but that I could get a, the, the touch features too. That's really freaking intriguing. That's probably like too expensive for something so old that I want to do, but that'd be nice.